<laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am joined by a very special guest with her four pawpaws, and her name is Rosie. Now, if anybody has been following me on my social media for the last 10 years, you all know Rosie. And Rosie is our Cocker Spaniel Pointer Cross. And myself and Rosie have a very special message for this Christmas. We want to remind people that a dog is not just for Christmas. And I think this is really important for people to remember around this time when they think that getting a dog might be a good idea if you have small children in the house or you just want a puppy. Puppies are cute, absolutely, I'm 100% with you on that one, but you have to remember that your puppy will grow into a dog. And it is unfortunate that almost 10,000 dogs ended up in pounds in Ireland last year alone. I will leave that statistic in the description box below. And the sad reality is that it is completely avoidable. So if you are considering getting a dog this Christmas, there are a couple of things that me and Rosie would ask you to consider before you do. And the first one is, do you have time to look after a dog when the Christmas season is over? Puppies need an awful lot of care. They will mess your carpet. They do need to be house trained. They do need attention and love. And when they're squealing downstairs, it can be quite stressful. So do you have the time to dedicate to that puppy or are they going to be sitting alone in your utility room while you go to work from nine till eight in the evening? Just something to think about. Second thing, do you have somebody to look after your dog if you go away on holidays? Dogs are like children. You have to have a babysitter for them and you have to have somebody that's completely fine with minding dogs. So we are very, very lucky that we have somebody who absolutely loves to take Rosie while we go away on holidays. And we're very lucky that we trust that person absolutely with her. Because when you have a dog, if you do have a dog already, you know that they become your children. They are absolutely part of the family. And if anything happened to them, it would honestly be devastating. And if the answer is no to either of those questions or if you're unsure about the answers, then Christmas time is probably not the best time to go out and rush and buy a puppy because you think it would be a great present for somebody on Christmas morning. And on that note, one thing that I would always caution against is buying a dog for somebody who has not asked for a dog or who has not been in consultation with you about buying a dog. I've seen this happen with people even in our own lives where somebody with the best intention goes out and buys them a dog and unfortunately they just don't have the time, energy or will to look after that animal and the animal ends up in a new home. And of course the same mantra goes, adopt, don't shop. There are so many dogs out there who need a loving home and if you can provide one, then wait until after Christmas, sit down with your family, plan it out properly, get some advice from Dogs Trust or the ISPCA or the RSPCA if you are in the UK or your animal welfare agency abroad and liaise with them, find out what is the best suit for you and take your time because a dog is a lifelong responsibility. She's completely ignoring me right now, but it is a lifelong responsibility. Rosie is 10 years old going on 11 and we imagine that she will have many more happy, healthy years with us. For us, the commitment of a dog is the same as having another child in the house. We love her like she is one of us and that is the way it is meant to be. So we really just wanted to remind people this Christmas that a dog is not just for Christmas, a dog is for life and to think about your decision to get a dog very carefully and with that said a very merry christmas to all of you and i will see you in my next video bye rosie please whenever you're ready dear <laughs>